So the founder of the dubious organization called the White Helmets is found dead in Istanbul. Initial reports claim that James Le Mesurier, a former British Army officer, fell from the balcony. <laughs> yeah, Le Mesurier fell from the balcony just like Epstein killed himself. Le Mesurier, who was also suspected of having links to the MI6, had long worked for a new imperialist tool of intervention called humanitarian intervention or responsibility to protect. This kind of intervention requires horrible human rights violations somewhere, you know, in the third world where the US and UK have a geopolitical interest in toppling a government, such as the case of Syria. So the imperialist governments destabilize the nation and create armed conflict. After that, they establish a group such as the White Helmets, which says that they are documenting human rights violations against the Syrian government. That should be replaced, according to the United States, so that this thing would serve the interests of Washington and London. Therefore, the work of the White Helmets gives the excuse for a powerful country to intervene and even invade a country, such as the case of Libya, or conducting aerial bombardments, such as the case of Syria in April 2018, when the White Helmets faked a chemical incident in the town of Douma and accused the Syrian government of using poisonous gas against the Syrian civilians, which led to a trilateral aggression by the US, UK and France against Syria. In a closer look to the White Helmets, the group is made up of more than 3,000 well-paid operatives. They operate exclusively in Al-Qaeda-affiliated health areas in Syria. After liberating most militant held areas by the Syrian army, the White Helmets continue to operate in Idlib, the largest safe haven for Al-Qaeda in the world. Ironically though, although the White Helmets is funded by tens of millions of dollars per year by several Western governments, the White Helmets' biggest loyalty lies with Turkey, and this has become crystal clear after Erdogan's invasion of northern Syria, where the White Helmets accompany the Turkish-backed Islamist militants against the Kurdish militias. On an international level, James Le Mesurier was spotted several times in hotspots around the world, including the Balkans and the Middle East, which indicates that this guy was not simply a humanitarian employee trying to establish democracies around the world. Due to these uncertainties and dubious connections of the White Helmets and its founder, the organization was exposed to severe criticism by independent journalists and activists, but most importantly by Syrian citizens who experienced the double standards of the White Helmets. A few days before his death, the Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Zakharova said, instead of condemning the criticism of the White Helmets group by Moscow and Damascus, London should rather clarify whether the founder of this group, who is known to have previously served in the UK Foreign Intelligence Agency, had links to Al-Qaeda. Only three days after Moscow's request, Le Mesurier found dead in Istanbul. Of course, the Western mainstream media and the governments will try to accuse Russia of killing him, but it is clear to any objective observer that Le Mesurier had won. He known too much and been involved in complicated intelligence operations in Syria. And two, it seems that the West is convinced that the Syrian army will liberate Idlib sooner or later, so an intelligence work should be done to end the role of the White Helmets and its involvement in faking atrocities in Syria and, most importantly, the alleged chemical attacks. Now, some might say, Kevor, this is a conspiracy theory. Well, let me remind you of this story. In October 2016, a guy with the name of Jabir al Bakr, a Syrian radical terrorist who arrived in Germany as a refugee, was planning for a big terrorist attack in Berlin. After detaining the suspect, Jabir's brother told the German media that his brother was actually a member of the White Helmets. Now, what happened to Jabir in custody? Uh, he committed suicide. Yeah, just like Epstein committed suicide and just like Le Mesurier fell from the balcony. Anyways, Le Mesurier had an enormous impact on the outcome of the Syrian war through his suspicious work with the murderous White Helmets, who acted as a propaganda wing for Al-Qaeda in Syria, and I'm not shedding any tears 
for him. Seriana Analysis is an independent news and analysis platform. Please don't hesitate to support the channel through Patreon, an online sponsorship platform that enables me to create more content to you. Link in the description below.